Research on China's space station has yet again contributed to things meaningful for life on Earth. Professor Zhao Jiuzhou and his team have now managed to concoct better phase separation alloys that are tailored to their needs. They are now able to make them both in space and on the ground, partly thanks to research done at the National Space Lab. It used to be hard to prepare these alloys on the ground, so our research, we are now able to get the dispersive materials the way we want, such as materials that have small dispersive phase particles evenly distributed within the matrix. It is also possible now to make materials with the shell core structure, a structure like the dragon fruit. Looking for the ideal microgravity environment to test out their theories, Zhao said they started their first experiments in space on Tiangong-2 in 2016. They had more lab time since China's space station started building up, with more experiments done during the Shenzhou-13, Shenzhou-15, and Shenzhou-16 missions, the latter one in 2023, including the ones conducted in the High Temperature Material Science Lab Cabinet and Container-Free Material Science Lab Cabinet. Now, the material advance could help people at home and abroad. Now we are also looking at practical aspects, hoping to start some international collaborations too. With our research, we can develop corresponding control methods in production to meet industrial needs and prepare materials that satisfy industrial requirements. Already, new ways to make copper-based sealing bush alloys and noble metal alloys materials have come out from the team's research. These are materials crucial for the mechanical industry and electronics industry. Sun Ye, CGTN.